All right, Alos, welcome back. We're back in Skyrim once again. Uh, I'm just checking out this Eagle's Barrow because I just got the claw from uh, a girl that I can't remember the name of. Uh, but, uh, you know, it was Burma, I think. No, Burna. Uh, in Winterhold at um, Burna's Oddments, actually. So, yeah, we grabbed a claw from her and she said, um, you should bring it to Eagle's Barrow or something. So... Let's really quickly <clears throat> head over there, which it should be right down here somewhere. Let's uh, try to get a sneak attack on this bear if we can. If I can aim it right. There we go, nice. Might as well finish it off. Nice, nice. I will take it all, yep. All right, let's check it out. Oh, it's a fancy looking place. Got salt pile, pheasant breast. I don't think, I think that's just food. Yeah, I don't want that. What is this? Can I read this? Why is it not usable? <laughs> um. <coughs> That's weird. Is there a way to use this? Wow, it's glitched. What happens if I like fast travel to this place? Does that do anything for us? Oh, and now it's gone. Okay, that's weird, but all right. Let me, uh, <clears throat> let me quick load real quick. Oh no, the book is just gone now. Okay. What if I quick load again? How about quick loading one more time? Nope. Okay. That's very strange, but alright. <clears throat> classic, uh, classic Skyrim glitches. Hopefully it wasn't important, but yeah, Ingle Barrow. Let's, let's check this place out real fast. It's like a icy cave. the heck? Is that one of the old ruins? I think so. Alright, that was kind of weird. I don't remember that before. <clears throat> this place sounds very familiar, though. Oh, hello. I don't ever remember seeing this before. Uh, let me check out this place real quick. <coughs> oh, okay. There's a couple of them now. Hold on. This looks like the bonus area then, or what? Oh, there's nothing here actually, really. All right. Well, what do we have here? Okay. How do I tell what the right thing is? Does it say it anywhere? Hanging moss. But I don't see... I don't see the key. It might have been in that book at the beginning, but... I don't... I don't know where this, the key would be. <clears throat> Let's uh, drop that skull that I just accidentally picked up. Hold on, I gotta find figure this out. Let's try sitting on the throne and see if this does anything. Nope, didn't really do anything there. Alright, I might have to look this up, unless I can figure it out. Surely I can't just, like, push this, right? Yeah, no, that's not going to do anything. Dead Scholar, though. Oh, here we go. Notes. Okay. <clears throat> uh, really quickly, let me see if I've read this before. Brief. 
Okay, yes, I have. All right. So let's do the notes on Eagle Barrel then. And I will actually take the fine boots and the fine gloves. But yeah, let's read this real quick. Uh, all right. What a peculiar place the barrow turned out to be. I hadn't explored for very long before reaching this elaborate room and gate locking me from going further into the crypt. I confess it, I'm relieved. This place puts the fear of oblivion into me. There are some carvings in this room. I'll attempt to transcribe them for the college so I have something to show for this effort. All was so in Atmora, land of truth, and our home. Man in his throne, should so should he be. Whale in the sea, so should he be. Eagle in sun sky, so should he be. Snake in the weed, so should he be. Sorrow, for the sea ghosts took Ingle, prize brother of sail from Admora's feet. <clears throat> and none on land, nor sky, nor sea, would ever again be as should be. Uh, fascinating. These ancient Nords, I wonder what other secrets are hidden here. Surely there can't be harm in trying to go a little further. And there is a lever here which must open the gate beyond. All right, and that's it. Uh, so it looks like whale, eagle, snake. And it says man in his throne. I don't know if I have to do anything with there, but yeah. Whale, eagle, snake. So whale, eagle should be. And that should be snake, I think. Does that do it? No. Does that do anything? Nope, okay. So maybe we need it in a different order? Whale, eagle, snake. Does it say a specific order? <clears throat> Man, whale, whale, sun, uh, eagle, and snake. Snake in the weed. Uh, so that would be here then, probably. Because these are weeds. This is the sky. Eagle in the sky makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah, whale in the sea. So yeah, this should be whale then, and then that should be right, because it's water. Okay, and then I think I have to sit here to activate it, right? No? Okay. Maybe not. <clears throat> or maybe I need to have, like, Lydia sit in it? Oh, no, it's fine. It's simple, we just got it. Alright, what else we got in here? <clears throat> uh... Nothing much there. These little guys are still following me around though, so that's interesting. They're making little noises too. Oh, here's another one. Alright. Are there going to be enemies down here? I've never seen anything quite like that. Yeah, it's quite interesting, huh? Well, let's get ready just in case. <clears throat> Open door or gates. All right. Seem to be collecting them. <laughs> uh, nothing much here. I'll take the hanging moss though, since it's free. Is there anything over here? Looks like it's just a collapsed area. Oh my goodness, though. Look how many of these guys we got. All right. Is there anything in here? No. Okay. <clears throat> hmm, this must be a bonus area then. Yep. Unlock gate. Let's try it. Seems to be to the right somewhere. There we go. Perfect. Alright, search the chest. Yes, I will take all of that. Um, burial urn. Steel great sword. No thanks. Appreciate the offer, though. All right, let's continue on, I think. Oh, hello. Iron greatsword. That's kind of interesting looking. I mean, it's just a regular iron greatsword, but it was put specifically here in a weird way. Well, it reminded me of like, the sword in the stone or something. I don't know. <clears throat> All right. Let's continue on. Oh, let's not step on that. Ouch! Alright, that was very nice. Alright. 
Got a chest here with scaled boots I can sell. So that's nice. A corpse with a piece of gold. Okay, here's the uh, here's the place we gotta put that. That claw. Okay. So I think it was this coral claw. Um, coral dragon claw. <clears throat> so, snake, uh, wolf, and bird. Let's do that. There we go. Activate keyhole. Let's see what happens. Like there's a drugger there. Ingle's shade. All right. Let's get a sneak attack on him. Oh. Okay. He has frost breath or, or whatever it's called. Uh, Ingle's Shade. Ancient Nord Great Sword of Frost. Don't mind if I do. What about this chest? What's in here? Steel Plate Armor, Garnet, Song of Horomir. Bunch of stuff I can maybe just enchant or sell. Alright, let's what what's this? Uh Song of Horomir. Two-handed increased. Okay. Looks like a poem type of book. Alright, there we go. <coughs> cool. And then let's search this place real fast to make sure I don't miss anything. Some coffins here. Which I think means that, because uh, coffins were added with uh, DLC of Dawn Guard, actually. So, uh, that means they kind of, like, updated this dungeon when, uh, when they released the DLC a little bit. Okay, we've got Helm of Ingle. And all the little guys are gone now. Alright, uh, what does this do? Increases frost resistance by 30%. Heavy armor. Looks pretty cool, but, uh, yeah. Kind of just, other than that, it's just Nord, Nord armor from the looks of it. But it is unique. <laughs> Probably save it in our chest back home. But yeah, that's all that. Glass bow. Ooh, wait a second. I'm pretty sure that's better than what I have. 22, 25, yes. All right, well, let's favorite that then real quick. That'll be our new bow of choice. <laughs> that's definitely useful, actually. All right, I think that's all for Ingle's Barrow. Um, this is a dead end right here, so let's let's head out this direction. Open Skyrim. That was a cool little dungeon. Got some horkers, which aren't considered enemies, it looks like, which is good. All right, I think we're good here. Um, let's go ahead and head back to the college, which is what we were doing originally. Oh, we've got a... Uh, Got like a, a wreck over here somewhere. We'll have to check that out another time. Let's go back to Winterhold and check out what else we got here. Also, let's stop by her shop real fast because she did say, "Tell me if uh, if you find it." Ah oh, man, it's too early though. Hold on, need to wait a couple hours. All right, how about now? Nice. Do what's necessary so we can get by. Have to, since I can't count on my brother for anything. All right. Well, she doesn't really have a new dialogue option here, sadly. But what have you got for hey, sale? Look. Let's offload some stuff on you real quick. Um, you can take the elven. Oh, just kidding. You don't have any money. I forgot about mm. that. Never mind. We're good. I'll be back another time. <laughs> uh, I think this is just a place someone's living. Crowder's house. It's not locked, actually. Hi, are you, uh, 
You guys upset with us? Winterhold was once the capital of Skyrim, you know. Quite an honor. Is the college dangerous? Goodness, no. They're simply scholars. They mean no one harm. I've had several conversations with Archmage Aaron over the years. Oh, he's perfectly polite, if a bit guarded. I'd like to know more about Winterhold's history. I'm afraid the Winterhold you see before you is somewhat underwhelming. I can assure you, though, that it was quite something in its prime. An early capital of Skyrim, you know. Sadly, the Oblivion Crisis took its toll on Winterhold in more ways than one. Then, the Great Collapse swallowed most of our beloved city. Dang. Uh, how did the Oblivion Crisis impact Winterhold? You may have noticed the college, just to the north there. Very prestigious place. Mages from all over Tamriel traveled here to seek knowledge. After the Oblivion Crisis was over, many felt that magic users were to blame. Elves, to be specific created a great deal of tension. A good many dark elves were driven from the city, and people became uncomfortable with the presence of the college. Hmm. The Great Collapse? What's that? Just about 80 years ago, there was a terrible disaster. The cliffs overlooking the Sea of Ghosts collapsed, taking most of Winterhold with them. In the middle of it all, the college was practically untouched. Many of the survivors were suspicious. Some believed the mages were behind the whole thing, and others felt they could have at least prevented it. <laughs> Archmage Aaron assures me that his people had nothing to do with it, and I believe him. But Winterhold never recovered. All right, interesting. Until next time. Kraldar's family was once very powerful in Winterhold. It's my honor to assist him even now. Hmm. Good to know, good to know. Um, not gonna lie, I would kind of like Winterhold the lockpicking skill lock upgrade this. from unlocking this. So let's, uh, let's see if we can unlock it. I don't even care about the stuff inside. I just want the, the lock opened. Aw, oh, man. A little bit down. Try here for now? Nope. But up. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. Got like a sweet spot in here somewhere. Ah, oh, I keep going up. Okay. Let's try going down then. Oh, that was so close. Have I now? There we go. Nice. Um. Sure, why not? <laughs> Alright, yeah, there's pretty much nothing else in here. Alright, let's head up. Finally. <laughs> Cross the bridge at your own peril. <clears throat> the way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. Uh, why are you out here? I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? Uh, may I enter the college? Perhaps. But what is it you expect to find within? Hmm. I seek the knowledge of the Elder Scrolls. Do you? It is true, there are some here who have spent years studying the accumulated knowledge of the scrolls. But what you seek does not come easily, and can destroy those without a strong will. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the college? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. Hmm. I'm pretty sure this check, like, almost never works, but, uh... Oh, you know what? We could say this, maybe. Would you grant entry to the Dragonborn? Dragonborn? It's been so long since we've had any contact with the Greybeards. Do you really have the voice? I do. I would be most impressed to see that. Yeah, let's let's show her. I never knew that was an option. Uh, sure, let's do, like... Greetings. Boom! 
There we go. So the stories are true. <laughs> you are Dragonborn. Yes. Normally, you'd need to show some aptitude with one of the schools of magic. But you... I think there is much that we can learn from each other. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabelle Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. Alright. Started first lessons. I am going to go ahead and stop the episode here, but I will catch you guys in the next part where we'll enter the college. Look at that. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Alright, catch you guys there. Peace.